Hello there, this is Luca, and today we're going to talk about network analysis using two packages in R and Python called iGraph and NPy. So you might even be wondering what is network analysis, and it all started with Euler uh, trying to understand a mathematical problem which he encountered going around the city. He wanted to know if one could walk across all seven bridges and never cross the same one twice. So he graphed the relationships between all the bridges to see if we could find a path between some of the bridges. And in that way, he invented graph theory. That was in 1735. And today, people and mathematicians still use graphs and graph theory to solve any kinds of problems. So for example, here we have a nice visualization of disorders that humans have developed and we can see the relationship between them as edges and graphs. For example, obesity might be connected to some diabetes problems and so on. If we were to use R, we can build graphs using a package called iGraph, which is open source, and it helps us create graphs and methods to analyze them. Now I will show you how we can create a graph in R using iGraph. We start from with this data sets of gas markets in Europe, which is telling us about the connection between pipelines between countries in Europe. And we can create this iGraph object using this formula uh, method. And then we can see that Germany and Austria are connected with a pipeline. So we can simply put it in into our formula. Then we move on to the next one and we would add it to the formula method. And we would do that for every other uh, country in our data set. If we were to plot this graph, we can simply use the built-in uh, plot methods by passing in the G, which is our iGraph uh, object. And this would uh, show us the graph uh, in R. iGraph also has a lot of built-in methods to analyze the graphs. Uh, for example, here we have min distance, which gave us the shortest path uh, between vertices and the average, uh, for example, uh, nearest neighbor degree, or for example, the assertive co coefficients. iGraph is really useful if we were to build uh, more complex uh, functions in R. And for example, here we have a function that simulates a pandemic and we can set, for example, for starter, all the vertices in the graph to zero if the vertices is not uh, infected and one if it was infected. Uh, and so we start the uh, virus by uh, infected the first vertices and then we would uh, simulate with 20 time steps uh, with a probability of 0.5 over vertices to be infected. Here is an example of how we can use iGraph to simulate and use uh, methods, for example, gorder to help uh, to help us uh, analyze and build new methods. Here is the graph of the simulation, and here is a 95 degree confidence interval of the time steps and uh, uh, every how many how many vertices have been infected in uh, 20 time steps. Uh, high graph is really helpful for us if we were to have a CSV and for nodes and edges separated because we can use simply graph dot uh, data dot frame to build in a simple graph already with a full data sets. But if we were to use a JSON uh, object, then we wouldn't have any edges or vertices embedded in our data sets. For example, here we have ingredients, but um, we want to have uh, the connection between the ingredients. So um, NPy uh, builds um, edges.csv and vertices.csv that we can then use it in our eye graphs. And so in the edges, we can see the connection between one to three and the vertices of one to five, for example. NPy is very simple. We first starting by creating the object and 
giving it the JSON um, data sets uh, path. And then we can create uh, the nodes.csv by calling the gets nodes json.csv method. And the same thing for the edges.csv. So from our JSON data sets, we came up with this two um, easy way of getting the information from a general data sets. And we can now input it into our uh, iGraph object. So in conclusion, NPy really help us to get all the edges and vertices from a database just using NPy. Thank you for your attention and thank you for watching.